I'm 18 years old. I go to school here in Sweden, Stockholm. I'm 17. I'm currently living in England. I'm going to college at Bournemouth and Poole and I'm studying to be an electrician with an apprenticeship at the moment. My name's Jamin. I live in London. Uh, I'm 26 and I work in IT for a financial services company. My doctors, my dietitians, they've helped me a lot and they've shown me how to deal with it and what it is, but I've also done research online because there are a lot of things online about it that you can read about. Uh, the more I understand about the disease, the more I understand uh, why I need to stick to my diet or take my medication. The healthcare professional would just um, tell me just by my previous bloods um, how I'm doing and she, she could sort of notice a pattern of if I'm missing medication for instance or if I'm not getting right nutrients and I started to read it as well. I'd know that my blood level was higher than usual and uh, I know that that's not always a good sign and they used to tell me that if you can keep it under X amount, you should, you'll be okay fine. So just merely um, listening, taking them advice and helps a, a lot. I get to meet other people with tyrosinemia through conferences. We used to go to tyrosinemia conferences specifically for that and uh, parents would get together in one room. They'd all talk about living with it, or living with the children with tyrosinemia and how they've dealt with it themselves and they'd always help each other. And then I would get to talk to other people who have tyrosinemia and see how they're getting on, see how they live with it. It's uh, all individual when it comes to the disease. So, but it's really uh, interesting to meet other people with uh, tyrosinemia uh, because I want to learn how they are handling everything, because we are all doing uh, differently. The advice I'd give to someone who's trying to explain tyrosinemia to another person would be to keep it simple, don't overcomplicate things. Look up for more information, so you tell the right story about the disease, but also to get help from your parents. When I describe tyrosinemia to someone, I would say to them it's a metabolic disorder that makes me have to eat differently to other people. I have to have a different diet, a special diet. I usually say in plain layman terms, it's a rare condition. Um, not, not a lot of people have inherited it, but it restricts me from eating a certain amount of protein per day. I say it's a liver disease and that it affects my liver and uh, that I can't eat the amount of proteins that everyone else does. So I shared it with my friend for the first time. Uh, his, his reactions were very normal, um, not what I was expecting. How the people react is so different to people to people, but usually they are surprised, shocked, or uh, they get sad, or worried, uh, or very curious about the disease. The biggest question is, uh, is, it, is it a life condition? I said, yeah, it's a life condition, but it's uh, manageable. Um, I can come out with you. Um, we're, we're relaxing, we're chilling out. Um, it's not stopping me from doing that, so you just have to keep, keep managing it. The reason why I tell people is for them to understand my situation, why I'm uh, off to doctor's appointments or if I have a surgery. To my friends it's not an issue at all. I've told mo most of my friends and they don't see me as a different person because of it at all. They treat me exactly the same as they would if I didn't have it.